G'day beautiful people, welcome back. I apologize if you can hear a bunch of noise in the background. Some people don't realize they don't need to have their TVs quite so loud. Uh, but it is a thing and we'll deal with it. Also apologize if my PlayStation is a bit loud, but it's like 40 odd degrees in my room right now and I'm sweating like a pig. With that said, we'll go over the cards real quick, then we'll talk about the gems, and then we'll talk about the actual build. So we have Coin Master, Exoskeleton, Green Spring, Growth Totem, Guard Piercer, Veil Stepper, Swamp Stalker, Vital Waters, Numbing Rogue, Plague Lord Malink, Trapper, and Unbroken Spirit. As far as gems go, I only take Mana Generator in Agility. Uh, we have Onslaught in Intellect, The Restoral Vitality, Damage Reduction, Damage Return, Reflexive Purify, and improved health regen. Oh my god, the keys jingling in the background, my niece is going mental. So obviously damage return and damage uh, uh, la, 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 damage reduction are easy to explain. Reflexive Purify, you can switch this up if you want. You could easily go for <laughs> Consume the Dead if you want. You'll probably get a few kills with this build. Uh, but I just like being able to remove the uh, debuffs. The slows are just getting too mental right now. Improved health regen, uh, I don't really go for anything else in this slot. And it's actually really good, you'll end up with like 80 odd health regen when you're out of combat at the end of your build. So as far as the build goes, what I generally do is I start with Exoskeleton. I put one into Vitality, I take Exoskeleton and then I go for Green Spring. From there, Coin Master is really just in there just to fill out the deck. Uh, from there, I save up and I grab Growth Totem. Uh, and then I work my way into uh, agility. I grab Guard Piercer as soon as I can, uh, and Veil Stepper, to, which will get rid of um, both of these cards. So I'll start off with Exoskeleton, then I'll grab Green Spring, then I'll grab Growth Totem, then I'll grab Guard Piercer and get rid of Exoskeleton, then I'll grab Veil Stepper and get rid of Green Spring. From here, it's up to you whether you want to go for Swamp Stalker or for Vital Waters. Uh, that's completely and utterly up to you. End build, I end up with Unbroken Spirit, Trapper, and Numbing Rogue. It means that you're going to slow uh, enemies' attack speeds, and you're going to be able to slow them down with Trapper, and do quite a lot of damage. And considering pretty much everyone's got CC, there's Unbroken Spirit. But if you're not going to grab Unbroken Spirit, the other side of the build would be Trapper, Plague Lord Malank, and Numbing Rogue. Now this is going to, regardless of which build you go for, if you go for Unbroken Spirit, you're going to get 30 ability armor there and some health. Trapper's going to give you amazing attack speed and power, and Numbing Rogue's going to give you more health and basic armor. Those two amounts of armor are going to serve you very, very well. But if you don't go for Unbroken Spirit, you are going to go for Plague Lord Malink. You're going to miss out on some ability armor, uh, but you should be okay because you'll be on the move a lot more because you're not being CC'd, obviously. That's why you're not running it. Uh, so you can get rid of the ability armor, it's not really as big of an issue, and you get the health off this. This is going to slow enemy movement speeds when they're close by 10%, it's really, really good. Uh, so that's the build, guys. Um, just to go over it once again, full build is Unbroken Spirit, Trapper, and Numbing Rogue, or Numbing Rogue, Plague Lord, Malank, and Trapper, one of the two. You'll be able to tank quite a bit of damage, you'll also be able to dish out a lot of damage, keep people still. Uh, and uh, if you have to get out, get a lot of health back with improved health regen, there's no need for any possessed spike and nonsense on this build. Uh, one thing I will throw out that if you are going to go for uh, Swamp Stalker or Vital Waters, uh, if you're going for Vital Waters, keep Green Spring on with uh, Growth Totem and Vital Waters for as long as you can because you'll get a lot out of that. Um, generally, what I do is if if I'm getting a lot of kills and the game's going really well in our favor, I'll go uh, Exoskeleton, Green Spring, and Growth Totem, and then swap out um, Exoskeleton for Guard Piercer, grab this, and then eventually uh, swap this out for Green Spring, and uh, then eventually swap Veil Stepper out for Swamp Stalker. Uh, otherwise, if I'm um, if it's you know just going okay, I will build my Vitality part of these these two cards. Uh, first, so that's when I'll go for Vital Waters, which I will uh, put Green Spring back on for. So that's the build, guys. I hope you like it. If you do, smash the like button, leave a comment uh, if you do try it, and let me know how you go. And subscribe for more Paragon content. With that said, thank you so, so much for watching. I love your face, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.